You must leave now if you are a negative spirit. Look, look, camera, look. I swear to God, I just saw something down there. Oh my God, there's also blood. Hey, it's me, Mackenzie Marie, and I'm still alive. For the past five hours, I've been driving from Los Angeles, California to Las Vegas, Nevada, because I'm doing a paranormal investigation at the MGM Grand Hotel. Good evening. At least 75 people have died today in a fire in the biggest hotel in Las Vegas. On November 21st, 1980, a fire broke out in the MGM Grand Hotel in a restaurant called The Deli. It killed 85 people. At the time, there were no fire sprinklers in the hotel because back then the fire safety regulations were different than they are now. The fire spread through a packed casino in the lobby. There was over 5,000 people in the hotel at the time. It was 7 a.m. in the morning, so a lot of the guests were asleep in their rooms and had no idea that there was even a fire going on. It took six minutes for the entire casino floor to be fully engulfed in flames. It spread across the areas of the casino in which no fire sprinklers were installed. 18 people died in the casino because of the fire. Now the fire was only on the first floor of the hotel, but the toxic fumes and smoke leaked into air shafts and elevators and stairwells, the air conditioning system, which scaled up the entire side of the hotel, bringing all of that smoke up to every single level in the hotel. This wasn't just a little fire, this was a lot of smoke and is still to this day the biggest fire in Nevada history. The hotel failed to put in any smoke alarms in the hotel rooms, so no one was notified there was a fire until their room was filled with smoke. A lot of these people were trapped in their hotel rooms. Some guests would break the windows to get some clean air, although this allowed thicker smoke from the outside to come into the rooms. Some guests would tie their blankets together and try to scale down the hotel. Some people tried to take the stairs and when when they got to the lower levels of the hotel, there was too much smoke. So they would go back up the stairs and realize that the stair door only opened from the outside in. So they were trapped in the stairwell. A lot of people actually passed away in the stairwell because of that. There was no possible way of taking any elevators down because the moment the elevator door would open, more smoke would just come pouring into the level of the hotel. The air was unbreathable. There was one case where a woman tried to take the elevator down and when the elevator door opened, there was already people laying dead in the elevator. People died in their rooms, they died in the hallways, they died in the stairs, they died in the elevators. There was no way of escaping the smoke. Although the fire was mostly on the first floor, a majority of the victims died from smoke inhalation and carbon monoxide poisoning on the upper levels of the hotel, which mind you is where I am currently at right now. Two weeks after the fire happened, they already started doing construction on the hotel. The only part of the hotel that changed was the first floor where the fire was, the casino. But other than that, they just slapped some paint on the walls, fixed the smoke damage, and here we are, a brand new hotel room. Tonight, I'm going to be taking you into the original elevators where this happened, the hallways, the stairwells, the casino floor, and obviously, one of the rooms. The MGM Grand sold the hotel to a company called Bally Manufacturing and they renamed the hotel and opened it back up just one year after the fire. But this time with 30,000 sprinklers in it, which there's 10 sprinklers in this room alone. Thank goodness. But MGM Grand ended up building a brand new hotel literally just two blocks away. I'm not even joking. It's on the same side of the street as well. This story is heartbreaking and it's frustrating because all of this could have easily been avoided if at the time when the hotel had opened, they had spent only $100,000 more to just install a proper working sprinkler and fire system. Right now, I am on the 25th floor of the MGM Grand Hotel, AKA now the Bally Hotel, in the exact same part of the hotel where this tragedy happened at. I came to this hotel because something called me here and I knew the moment that I heard about this story that I had to make a video about it. I had to come here myself and I had to see what happened or you know, try to come in contact with some of the people who lost their lives here. When I make a paranormal investigation video, I don't wanna go to once upon a time storybook places. I want the real deal. I wanna go to real places where real 
happened and I want the real story. So welcome to the MGM Grand Hotel, also known as the Bally Hotel. I gotta retrace my steps and I gotta show you guys what happened when we got here because this room is nothing like what I was expected. If not, it may be even a little bit worse. Oh my God, we're in the elevator right now. So many mirrors. These are the original elevators. We just got here. I'm like freaking out already. Oh my God. I'm already scared. I'm already like shaking. Okay, let's just go. Can you tell I'm like shaking? Yeah. Can you can tell. Sweat I'm literally bullets. shaking. We are room 2565. Here we are. Wait, is this our room? Straight up. Oh my God. Oh no. No. What? That's the air shaft. That's what brought all the smoke up here. What? That's so no! Baby. No smoking, it's pretty ironic. Uh, uh, oh my God, we're spending the night here. This is creepy, wait, the TV is on. First initial thoughts, how are you feeling? It's weird. Is it kind of eerie? It's a little eerie. Oh my God. Let's see the view. Is that blood, what is that? What? Oh my god, there's actually blood on that. Okay, why is there blood on that? Oh my god. No, that's like actually blood. We just got here. <laughs> I have no I had no idea what we were getting into. But now I 100 percent know and it's completely set in. We're checking into the hotel. I tell the guy, I want to be on the 23rd floor. I want to be facing Flamingo Street because that's where, you know, that's where this incident happened at. This guy knew that I wanted something creepy. He knew I was coming here for something creepy. The moment I said that, he was like, oh yeah, I have a room on the 25th floor though. Here is Flamingo Road. People were literally standing out on these balconies trying to get air. This is where it happened at. I'm going to show you a picture right here. That's the flip side of this area. There is a giant air shaft in our room as well. And smoke would come up out of these and just pour into these rooms. This thick black smoke. Imagine this entire room filled with the black thick smoke and just hearing people break their glass of their window and like screaming for help to get out. Like you're stuck up here. Like this is high off the ground. I know you guys can't tell, but this is a skyscraper we're in right now. 250 feet up. 250 feet? 250 feet. It says, please enjoy the clean air. You've got me messed up. <laughs> like, Come on. why would you do that? Why would why? Like, like that's so like twisted. Like it's a thing about smoking, but you know, still it's like. Yeah, we're in a non-smoking room, by the I've way. I've never seen any other hotel say that. Please enjoy the clean air. Like, get the f out of here. Now that you're after speed, here's what's going on. I got some equipment with me. I also got Cameron with me, AKA my crunch, AKA my baby. Mm. I have accumulated some very interesting tools that we're gonna be using tonight to try to come in contact with some spirits, good and bad. Hopefully people that are actually, um, were involved in this fire. I actually found a lot of this stuff by using Audible, which mind you, today's video is sponsored by Audible. So um, thank you Audible for this one. Audible is an audiobook subscription where you can download and listen to your favorite books on your phone and computer. Lately, I've been listening to audiobooks about ghost hunting to prepare for today's paranormal investigation. I actually listened to my audiobook in the car driving to Vegas and it made the time pass like so fast. But if you're not into paranormal investigations, that's totally fine. There's a category for everyone on Audible. Although my favorite category is audible sleep. They have an ASMR section that I listen to before I go to bed. And let's be honest, who doesn't love listening to hair brushing ASMR? Just me? Okay, that's eh, weird. I just found out that Audible has a gift category, meaning I can gift Audible to anyone even if they already have a membership. My grandma loves listening to books, so this is gonna be the perfect Christmas present for her. Go to audible.com slash Mackenzie Marie or text Mackenzie Marie to 500-500 and start listening today. And for a limited time, you can save 60% on your first three months of Audible. So click the link in the description below. This is a cat ball. This is a motion activated cat ball. If there's any motion around, these lights will start going off. EMF detector. We're going to be using this to try to pick up some electromagnetic frequencies. Boom. And you see it starts, the colors start going off. Like, whoa, 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 Because they say spirits do have a frequency to them. This, my lovely friend Kelsey Davies introduced me to. 
mind you, we love you, Kelsey. These are dowsing rods, and when they pick up energy, they are able to point their rods. The that just flickered. Did you just see it flicker? What flickered? This. Oh, the EMF detector? You saw that, right? Yeah, I saw it. It just, it spiked up to the yellow. I saw it. <laughs> ah! That was weird. And I'm telling you, you're gonna get the most activity at places where real things happen. Dowsing rods are used to communicate with spirits. You would typically use these when you're trying to ask questions. Now, if the dowsing rods cross, it means yes. If it opens, it means no. This is what I am most excited about, and this is what I learned from Audible. This is a spirit box. With this spirit box, we're going to be doing a method called the Estes method, which essentially is when one person has the spirit box hooked up to headphones and they're listening to it flip through these channels very fast, which I'll show you what it sounds like right now. Spirits are able to manipulate the frequency coming through this box to be able to communicate with you. I'll be asking him questions. He'll be listening to this. He won't know what I'm asking him, but he'll be able to answer the questions by using this. If you guys see anything happen in the video, make sure to comment it below. We're gonna get right into this, and um, I feel like after tonight, our lives are gonna be very different. That's all I'm gonna say. If you can see, this side of the hotel is it's very high up. This is, I'm literally breaking my neck to look all the way up there. I can't imagine what it would be like to be up there on that hotel. And there's just all of this would be firefighters everywhere and smoke and flames and just being trapped up there. Like that is so high up. I figured we'd come out here first just to get some perspective of what it actually was like. There was actually a lady that was so scared because of everything that was going on that she jumped from her hotel room out here onto the ground and actually died. Six minutes is all it took for this entire area to be engulfed in flames. And people were doing what they are right now. They're literally just playing in the casino, like just living their lives and out of nowhere, just fire. go to the elevators. These are all the original elevators. Here we are, the original elevators. We're gonna start on the 23rd floor because that was weird. Did you see I tried to clean yeah, it and it wouldn't work? Um, this is where most of the bodies were actually found at, was on this floor right here. So I feel like this is where we should start. I feel like that's only like the right thing to do, is to go to the 23rd floor. This is where people were trapped up in their rooms and they couldn't escape and they couldn't go down the elevator. They couldn't go down the stairs. They couldn't, they couldn't save themselves. It's just silent. This is just like the saddest thing, you know, like... I just couldn't imagine what that would be like. This is like a storage closet now, but once upon a time, it was a room but they don't allow people to use this room anymore because here is a air vent shaft and- Look at like back up to it, show how big it is. This thing is huge. It's as tall as you. This is where smoke was just like pouring in. Every level of this hotel has one of these. So every level was being just pumped with smoke. The way people describe what happened here was like, People were like climbing over mounds of things and they didn't realize what it was until obviously the firefighters cleared everything out, but it was bodies that they were climbing, climbing over. over. Of bodies? Yeah. I don't know what's going on, but the battery's at 39%. It was at 60, not even like five minutes of recording ago. What? Like we've been recording in total for like five minutes. It's dropped like almost 30%. Five minutes of recording, 30%. Okay. My stomach is like in knots right now. Let's just do this. 
How do you feel? Um, it's eerie. Definitely eerie. I feel so sick right now. It's definitely got an odd, and it's just weird. The camera battery is just like it's dwindling. It's sucked. The amount of energy in this hotel is insane. It's draining. Let's do EMF. So I think we should just walk around and see if we catch anything. So right. far, we've got nothing. We're bottomed out. We're pretty good. What do you think a high area of that would be? Definitely over here. Oh my god. Ooh. Right We're here. Just standing in the middle of the hallway. Literally. What? Whoa, nothing. okay, look, it's spiking. You guys, I'm telling you, right? Look at me, look at me. It's still, it's still, it's saying, we're not doing anything. Come here. Come here. The facial detection, it detects a face right here. Shut the f up. I swear. Oh my god, wait, let me take a picture of that. Instant. Like, without a doubt. Point it anywhere else, it's not gonna do it. It's not going off. There's something right here. Look. Go put it in the area. Look, 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 it's gone, it's gone. Oh, it's coming back now. Look at like flickers and like waves. Point anywhere else, it's not gonna do it. Baby. It's not going off. It's like right here, there's something right here. Look. Go put it in the area. Go put it in I'm the area. I'm telling you, it's right over here. I'm telling you though. What is that? I bet you, I bet you someone passed away right over there. This is insane. I'm telling you this is like one minute in. A brand new camera batteries too. You guys, we these have been charged all day. I want to, I want to make it 100% clear yeah. that this is where, this is where it's happening at. This is right where it's happening at. I believe someone passed away right here. I have nothing to make this go off, you guys. I have absolutely nothing to make this go off. There is nothing. This is real. What? I swear to God, I just saw something down there. Look. Look, 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 Cameron, look. Look, I'm telling you, I swear to God, I just saw something down there. This battery's gonna die in like the next five minutes. Easily. 20%. Okay. That is just bizarre how it picks up a face in that same spot every single time. I'm telling you, somebody had to have passed away right there. Okay. There's people from the dead Okay, let's not, let's just cut it. We cut this clip because people were coming and then we went over to the stairwell. For some reason, either the camera wasn't rolling, the footage got deleted or it got corrupted. I can't find the footage anywhere on my SD card. A long story short, I don't know what happened with that footage. I was using the EMF detector and that was the only time in the night where it spiked all the way to red. It made me way too emotional that I just had to turn the cameras off. We're gonna go charge the batteries. We're gonna go back to the room and we are going to try to contact some individuals and or spirits who have passed on while they were here. I'm gonna let this part simmer. I got really upset because of the stairs, so. Here we go. I just set up these motion detection cat balls. It needs to physically be touched in order to activate it. I put it on each seat here. We're gonna try to talk some people on. See if they can communicate to us through them. I'm gonna let you hold the dowsing rods, okay? Okay. Because your hands are much, much more stable than mine are. We are inviting positive spirits to interact with us. No negative spirits are allowed to come here. We are protected by love and light. If anyone is here with us right now and you would like to communicate with us, you can use this EMF detector. You would just need to come by it and make yourself known by getting close to it. We have the dowsing rods here that you can use to manipulate the rods to cross inward 
for it to be yes and for it to open up outward, for it to be no. This is how we can communicate with talking. We also have three cat balls over here, which are the round balls sitting on the cushions. If you would like to come and touch one and make yourself known, that would be great. We're only asking for positive spirits. We will only be interacting with positive spirits. You ready? Yeah. Is there anyone here with us right now? You can cross the dowsing rods for yes and open them up for no. Is anyone here with us right now? You can cross the dowsing rods. Has anyone died in this hotel room? You know, I'm glad you're not moving it, you know, because I feel like some people would move it just to make it no, seem I, like. No, you can't move them like if you tried. Oh, now they're just like pointing outward now. That's weird. Is there someone here in this room with us right now? It's moving. They're moving that way. They're inching out. They're opening up. Were you a living person? Why are they opening up? No negative spirits are allowed to come. You are not welcome here. You must leave now if you are a negative spirit. Can that be perceived a different way? Like, could that been, been ha could that have been like some a spirit like with us like no there's nothing here you know because it started opening up both of them started opening up am i just too scared i don't want anything negative to come into my space i'm not allowing that that's not what i'm here for they're crossing they're starting to cross you didn't even ask it anything. I'm not asking it anything now. It's a little bit of a delayed fuse. <laughs> what the? That is weird. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, I mean, I'm literally like as still as a freaking plank of wood. We are only allowing positive spirits to come through and talk to us right now. If you are a positive spirit and you are here with us right now, please cross the dowsing rods. Okay, <laughs> that is weird. That, okay. Did you pass away in this hotel? Is that you? Should we ask I'm it again? I'm literally holding as still as a church freaking mouse eating a block of cheese. Church mouse I don't even... Okay, I'm... Did you pass away in this hotel? You can cross the dowsing rods for yes and open them up for no. I mean... No? So, the... They didn't pass away in this hotel. I feel like we shouldn't be doing this right now. I feel that like- That doesn't mean it's bad though. Did you pass away in this hotel? Just so slightly. It's like they're... I mean, it's getting- It's, it's closing. It's yeah. closing. I feel like there might be more than one person with us right now. Did you pass away from smoke inhalation? Were you unable to breathe? Some cause related to the smoke. Was your passing related to the smoke? I mean, that's a, that's a yes. That's so sad. I'm so sorry that that happened to you. Were you the only one in the room when it happened? 
Should we ask if it happened in a room? It could have happened anywhere. Did we ask if it was in the hotel? We asked if it was in the hotel, but we didn't ask if it was in the stairwell or if it was in the hallway. Should we ask those questions? I mean, I think it's kind of answering mine right now. What was that? In the room? If no. They the, if they were the only one in the room. No. No, they weren't. They weren't the only one in the room. Are you a female? That's weird. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Yes? It's a female. Were there more than three people in the room? No. Uh, it was pretty fast. That was fast. Were you here with your family? No, it's like literally nothing. Are you still with us right now? It's like literally it's not nothing. Really. So it's a female and there was not more than three people, but they are not alone. I feel like, were we asking the right questions? Why are they still here? Trapped, just like how they were. They can't get out. They haven't been able to leave. After we did the dowsing rods, we went right into the Estes method, which is what I use the spirit box for. I'm not gonna lie, he can't hear me right now, but this is probably the one I'm the most scared about. Is there anyone here with us right now? Would anyone? You. Me. Me. Okay. Where I'm you? eight. You're eight years old? Came up. Are you eight years old? Are you still here with me right now? Eight. Stop, please stop, stop, stop. Wow. I can't do this, I can't do this. Literally it's like, I'm eight, and then no other words, and then it's just eight. I can't it's do this. It's a female voice too. That's so sad. This was a very emotional time for me because never in my life have I communicated with spirits so clearly before. I did sit down and I bawled my eyes out to be completely honest. I just, it was so overwhelming. I don't think words can explain what that feeling is actually like. We stopped filming for about 10 minutes and then we went back at it. But this time I was going to be the one listening to the spirit box. So right now it's sweeping forward through the channels. Yeah, so same volume, same everything. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, we're only allowing positive spirits. We're only allowing positive energy right now. So if you don't meet that criteria. It's back on. It's back on. If you don't meet that criteria, then you're not allowed to communicate with us right now. Is there anyone else with us right now? Maybe the person from before. Is there anybody else with us right now? And? And? Falling forward. Falling forward. Is there any energy here, whether it be a person or maybe a spirit? Is there any, is there any entity here? Hey. Says the. Hey? Was the Christ? Was the Christ? What the? Are you? A friendly energy. Are you a good, positive spirit? Do you mean good? Four, three. Tick, tick, tick. Four, three, tick, tick, tick. Were you? Well? 
floor three? Were you on floor three of the hotel? Were you on floor three? Is that where you were at? In religion. Okay, are you a religious spirit? Do you follow any religion? Are you tied to any religion? Are you a religious person or entity? I went through. You went through, did you go, did you go through with religious belief? God. So you believe in God. Are you connected to God in some way? Maybe. Minions. Minions. Uh, so the are, device. Are you connected? Are you associated more with the devil? Can't. Can't. Are you associated more with the devil? Because you mentioned minions. Which would be... I. I. You are. Broke. Broke device. Fire. Fire. Oh my god. No, 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 no. You're gonna have to listen to this back. No, 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 no. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. So, that was too much. So, what all did you gather from that? I have no idea. All I heard was fire. I don't want to do that. So, I was basically asking, like, are you, like, a religious spirit, like, connected to God? And then it was like, maybe. You said, maybe. And then you said minions and then fire. So I was like, okay, are you more associated with like, like the devil? Like, because the minions have really nothing to do with God. And then you said fire. So that kind of, I don't think the person we were just talking to, I don't think it's the same person from earlier. I don't think it's the little girl. I don't I think know. that's demonic. I don't know. I couldn't get. I tried asking if it was a person, if it was some sort of entity. They didn't respond, but I don't know if they're quite human. Absolutely not. You should have stopped that. Absolutely not. Maybe that's not good. I told you we're not talking to any negative spirits. I, I mentioned that. Well, we're done here. And we're packing it up. And that's it. And no negative entities are allowed to follow us. We're only here for good, positive spirits. No one is allowed to follow us. You are not allowed to follow us. You must stay here. No one or nothing. No one or nothing, and you must stay here, and you are not allowed to follow us. We're leaving. That's not how I wanted to end this video. I had no idea what was going on the whole time. I couldn't hear a damn thing that he was saying. I didn't know what the conversation was looking like while it was happening. I had no idea. I've watched this footage back so many times and this is what I gathered from it. Yeah. It's back on. The first thing the spirit box says is it's back on. Clearly the spirit that we are talking to is knowledgeable of what the device is used for. Falling forward. Falling forward. Now I interpreted this as the woman who jumped off the balcony and fell forward to her death. Hello? Okay. Weird things are happening while I'm filming this. Like, why is that happening? This part speaks for itself. Is there any entity here? Hey. If you put the words that follow this together, it creates a sentence. And what that says is, Hey, says the, the Christ. Hey, says the Christ. When I heard this back, I was literally shocked. Now, I didn't take this as a negative spirit at all when I heard it back. I was like, oh my God, I, we must have been talking to someone who would consider themselves holy. Four, three. Were you- Well? Four, three? Were you on floor three? Cameron took this as floor three, but what I heard coming through the device was four, three. I believe for this to be a Bible verse. If you know what verse this is in the Bible, please leave that in the comment section below because I'd love to hear it. I am not religious, so I don't really know anything about that kind of stuff, but that's what I interpreted as, 4-3, a Bible verse. When you put the words that follow behind 4-3, this is what the sentence says. 4-3, in religion, I went through God. 4-3, in religion, I went through God. 
That's crazy to me. I'm like, like I said, I'm not religious, but that is just crazy to me. After that part, this is when things get weird. The last thing Cameron asked was, are you connected to God in some way? And the device said, maybe. Right after this, that's when things get hostile. They get really weird because the device starts picking up words faster at this point and the tone from before completely switches. Minions. Minions, uh, so The are device. Minions, the device. It sounds like someone is talking about the ghost box that we're using. Cameron says, Are you associated more with the devil? Can't. And the sentence that follows that is, devil. Can't. I broke device. fire. I broke fire. I don't know if there is any significant meaning to that in the Bible, but if you know anything, please let me know in the comment section below. When I heard the word fire, I could not listen to this anymore. It brought me to tears because I'm not thinking the devil. I'm not thinking anything demonic. I'm thinking the fire that happened in the hotel. I don't know what the last part of this spirit box session means. If you have any ideas, please let me know what you think in the comment section. I am stunned. I am shocked. I was not expecting this to happen. I did not want to end the video this way. After this happened, I packed up all my things. I switched hotels. I stayed at a different hotel because I was not going to mess with that. I feel like if I would have done this last Estes method session fully, maybe we would have gotten some more answers, but I won't know. It just really is sad. It's probably one of the saddest places I've ever been in my entire life. I think the one and only good thing that came out of that fire was that hotel regulations were changed and it set laws into America history for hotels for the rest of forever. You can thank sprinkler systems and alarm systems being in your hotel today because of this tragedy. That was my stay at the MGM Grand Hotel, also known as the Bally Hotel. And if you guys would like to see more of these paranormal investigation videos, please give this video a thumbs up. This is definitely where my heart is going now. I want to make bigger and better videos for you guys. I did take a really long break off of YouTube and I'm finally back and it feels great. And I just want to make things that I'm inspired to make. And this is one of those things. So I hope you guys like this video. I missed you guys so much. And uh, I can't wait to see you here in my next video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. Click the bell button. Turn on your post notifications so you can be notified the next time I upload a new YouTube video because I want you to be here first. And if you want to, you can follow me over on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, or Twitch at Mackenzie Marie because when I'm not over here, I'm definitely over there and you should be too. I love you so freaking much and I will see you here in my next video. Toodles.